um, Hinta Smile Zeno. I'm Director of Marketing at the Qatar Tourism Authority. Good morning and thank you for joining Breaking Travel News today. We're here at Arabian Travel Market 2013. How's the event been going for you this year? Um, it's been going very well, thank you. Um, our partners are very happy, our stand is very busy. Um, and I hear that this ATM is, uh, is uh, one of the busiest in a few years. Um, so we're quite happy about it. Perhaps you could just bring our viewers up to date with some of the most exciting uh, developments in Doha and Qatar this year. Um, we're very excited. We have a few things uh, happening in the country. Just last March we had the uh, Qatar International Food Festival. It was a great hit amongst um, our uh, local residents as well as um, uh, travelers from the GCC. Uh, we had a lot of good feedback and it was one of the uh, first partnerships that we did with Qatar Airways. Um, we also have exciting um, things coming up uh, for the summer. Um, it will be starting from the Eid, um, Eid al-Fitr, and also Eid al-Adha. Um, we also have plans to do a winter festival, which is probably going to start in um, November, December, um, and uh, continue for a few months. We have a few things um, lined up specifically for families. Um, we also have, uh, we're very excited about the um, uh, uh, the new uh, Doha International Exhibition Center, uh, uh, Conference and Exhibition Center. It's uh, we look uh, forward to the opening in uh, later on in 2014. Um, uh, there's a lot of growth, and we have a lot of uh, hotels opening um, uh, uh, all around Doha. Uh, we're working also with the uh, municipality to have. Um, to kind of uh, um, introduce the different areas of the country to to tourism and not just uh, uh, not just the city, not just Doha. Um, so we're very excited. Yeah, there's plenty going on there. Yeah. Um, we're, here in, we're here in Dubai. Um, obviously, been investing a lot of money in tourism. Yeah. Do you think there's any lessons you can learn from uh, what's been happening here in the UAE that might help yeah. you develop the industry in in, yeah. in Qatar? Um, there's there's something to learn from everybody, and I think what's uh, what's going to work for Qatar is to find that differentiating factor that uh, that we know we have. Um, we know that we have uh, Qatar as a destination is uh, very unique in its cultural offerings. Um, and we know that we have a product that no other country in the GCC has. And we're planning to capitalize in, on this. Um, we know that we have a rich heritage and we have, um, uh, the Qatari people have uh, have embraced their culture. Uh, we're planning to build on that. and. Um, and I think it's it's obvious in the in the the, the strategy of the whole country with the um, with the QMA of efforts of uh, um, the MIA with the uh, Metap Modern uh, Museum of Arab Art uh, with the new um, uh, National Museum. Um, those are uh, more about um, bringing other cultures into into the country. We also have you know the Katara. We have the Sugwagif, um, which represent the Qatari culture and the Qatari heritage. Um, so we know we're building on on um, on these uh, products uh, and also making sure that we're visible um, and offer a complete uh, experience for any traveler, whether it's a business traveler or a leisure traveler that comes to the country. Some very interesting points there. Thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.